If you're a wedding filmmaker that wants to deliver your wedding films on a USB flash drive that your couples can watch on their TV, in this video I'm going to show you which USB sticks to buy and the exact video formats and settings so they will play on virtually any smart TV. And hey, if you are not a wedding filmmaker and you are just wanting to put videos on a USB flash drive so you can play them on your TV, don't worry, this video is going to be super helpful to you too. Now, I do have one caveat before we get started, and that is that while these instructions should work for the vast majority of smart TVs out there, what you need to keep in mind is that there is no standard format that every single TV manufacturer has agreed on whenever it comes to playing videos from a USB stick, which means that there is a small chance that these settings may not work. I'm sorry, I wish I could guarantee things, but what you need to keep in mind then as a wedding filmmaker in particular is that if you are promising to your couples that you'll be able to give them a USB drive that they'll be able to play on their TV, you may want to put an asterisk at the end of that guarantee and give yourself some wiggle room to say, hey, it may not work. And because they maybe have a really old TV or a weird TV, etc., just just keep that in mind and make sure your couples know that. Anyways, let's first start by talking about the USB stick that you should purchase. If you are just putting videos on a USB stick that you would watch in your house or something like that, you can go on Amazon and purchase pretty much any USB 3.0 flash drive and you should be good to go. I'll link to ones that I recommend down in the video description. That said, if you are a wedding filmmaker in particular, it's going to look kind of tacky for you to deliver a generic looking USB drive to a couple. Remember, you want to be giving them a premium experience, and that means that spending a bit extra on a nicer looking USB stick that isn't plastic and shiny and that has SanDisk slapped across the front of it or something like that is probably a good choice. So with that in mind, there's a company called Photo Flash Drive, and I recommend purchasing a USB 3.0 drive from them. These drives are going to look significantly prettier, and you can even customize them with your name and logo, and they look really cool, and yeah, they are a bit more expensive, but you can always pass that cost along to your couples, and it'll be fine. Once you have your USB stick, we need to talk about how you're going to format this USB stick. And no, we're not talking about the video format that you use yet. We're talking about the file format that you're going to have this USB drive use. See, different computers have different file formats, with Windows using a file format called NTFS, Apple Macs using a format called APFS, and there also being a couple other formats that will work with both Mac and PC, which is what we want to focus on today. Specifically, if you want the maximum amount of compatibility between not only computers, but smart TVs, which is what we're focusing on, you are going to want to format your USB drive in the FAT32 format. To do this on Windows, you can insert your USB drive into your computer. Then you go to this PC, which lists all of your drives. In this case, this drive is labeled test. I'm going to right click on it, go to format. And here I'm going to change it from NTFS to FAT32, which is the default. I'm then going to leave everything else here the same. We're going to label this. We'll call it wedding. Make sure the quick format is selected and then press start and OK and that is going to format the flash drive to make it compatible with most TVs. Alternatively, if you are on a Mac, I do not have a Mac to show you a video of how to format your USB flash drive, but I will link to a tutorial website down below that will quickly walk you through how to do it. Now this FAT32 format is a very old format. It's been around virtually forever, and the reason that you want to format that has been around forever is that this format is going to maximize your compatibility with other devices. Pretty much any computer or TV out there should theoretically support support this FAT32 format, so it's great. That said, it does have one big caveat, and that is that you are going to be limited to a maximum file size of four gigabytes when using a drive formatted to FAT32. This leads us nicely into talking about the video format that you should use when exporting your video for a USB flash drive that you can play on a TV. Now, regardless of whether you're using Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut, all of the settings are going to be the same. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Premiere Pro, but you're going to choose the same settings for any other software. First, you're going to want to edit your video, and then you're going to want to go to the export page, and you're going to want to make sure that you export your video in the H.264 video format. 
then for preset, you can select high quality 2160p 4K if you're exporting in 4K or high quality 1080p HD if you're exporting in HD. In this case, I'm going to select 4K because that is the quality of the wedding video that I'm going to be exporting. And the reason that we're choosing the H.264 video format is very important because this is one of the most widely supported video formats and it's been around for quite a few years, which means that the odds are that pretty much any smart TV that you try to play this video in this format on is going to play properly. So we're not only choosing a USB flash drive format that will play well, but also a video format to maximize compatibility with any television. Next, the most important thing after the video format that you choose is the bit rate that you choose to export your video at. Why is bitrate so important? Because the bitrate that you choose is going to dictate how large of a video file size that you have. And remember, because you're going to be putting this video file onto a USB flash drive that is in the FAT32 format, this means that your video cannot be larger than four gigabytes or it's not going to work. Now, thankfully with Premiere Pro, Adobe has made it so it will tell you an estimated file size for your wedding film. In this case, it's telling me that it's an estimated file size of 1303 megabytes, which is under the approximately 4,000 megabytes that would take up four gigabytes on a flash drive. Now, Premiere Pro is helpfully going to tell you an estimated file size for your wedding film. In this case, it's saying it's 1303 megabytes. And if I scroll down over here, you're going to see that the bit rate is currently 80, which is a bit high. So we're going to want to lower this down because as you're choosing a rate, as a rule of thumb, I would export with a bit rate of about 50 megabits per second for a 4K video. And we're also going to change this to CBR. Alternatively, if you are exporting a 1080p HD video, I would choose 25 megabits per second. This should give you a great mix of file size to quality. And in this case, we can look over here and it's saying that the estimated file size for this video is only 816 megabytes, which is well under the approximately 4,000 megabytes or four gigabytes. That would be the maximum that the USB flash drive could handle. Now, I know I just said set your bitrate to 50 megabits per second as a rule of thumb. And you may be thinking, Matt, I could raise it to like 200 and look, it still fits and it's not 4,000 megabytes. So it would still fit on the flash drive. And you're right. But the, your television may struggle with playing back a video at this bitrate. And remember, we're trying to maximize compatibility across all these different TVs. So in that case, that's why I'm recommending 50. Lastly, you are going to want to make sure that your video files and folders are set up on the external flash drive properly. To do this, you're first going to want to go to where you exported your video, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it ends in the .mp4 video format, because this is the most commonly supported file name for smart TVs. In this case here, I can go to the video clip and it's not showing me the end here. You can see it says mp4, so I think it's right, but to be sure, if you're on Windows 11, for example, you can go up here to view, show, file name extensions and ta-da, it says MP4 there. So if you are using Windows 10 or another version, I will link to an article down in the description to show you where that file name extension changing setting is if you need to access it. And then just know that if it says something different like .mov, for example, all you have to do is click on the video once and you can type, if it was say .mov, you could just backspace type MP4, press enter. It may give you some warning thing, just hit okay, then double click on your video to make sure it plays it and you're good to go. Next, you're going to want to connect your USB flash drive and open it up because we have two very important folders that you need to make there. With your flash drive open, go up here to new folder or you can right click in Mac and create new folder. And we're gonna call this first folder DCIM. Then we're gonna open up the DCIM folder by double clicking on it, creating another new folder. And we're gonna call this one 100 media. It is inside this 100 media folder here where you are going to want to put your video files. The reason that you want to do things this way and add these specific folders is because many camera memory cards are going to use folders like this to hold videos. And so whenever you connect your USB drive, your smart TV is going to think, oh, this is a memory card. And it's going to know how to open up these folders and show you these video files inside. This is just a cheat code basically to especially help you with older smart TVs to make sure that they can open up your USB USB drive to play your videos. Next, you're going to want to copy your export of video files to your flash drive. We can go over here and here's the wedding film. And I'm just gonna click and drag it over to the flash drive and it's gonna start copying. Now here comes the most important step of this entire process. You need to be sure to test your video clips on a smart TV that you own to make sure it plays your video clips back smoothly. The odds are that you are not going to have the exact same model and year of TV as the couple that you are sending the USB flash drive to. But the good news is that if your flash drive plays on your TV, there's a very good chance that it will play on theirs as well. 
Once you have done that, congratulations. You have now created a USB drive that is compatible with the widest variety of smart TVs, and you can sell these USB drives to your couples for a profit. If you want more help with wedding filmmaking, I would love if you would consider subscribing. I make a lot of videos to help wedding filmmakers. And in addition, because I want to help you out even more, I've put together a wedding filmmaker gear guide that's going to show you all of the gear that I recommend that you purchase for wedding filmmaking, aside from USB flash drives. This guide is completely free and you can download it at the link down below. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.